Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore, sometimes known as the Black Themes. You can see and you can purchase this 42 millimeter post-2014 stainless steel Royal Oak Offshore chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen, that one in the upper right hand corner to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this 42 millimeter display case back stainless steel Royal Oak offshore. Now in 2012 the Royal Oak celebrated its 40th anniversary and two years later in 2014 it was time to revise the core offshore collection. So while the conventional Royal Oak had its moment in the sun in 2012, the offshore had to wait two years to gain its revisions, but the wait was worthwhile. Now across my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch is the classic imposing monolith of the Royal Oak Offshore. 42 millimeters across the round of the case from 9 to 3, that doesn't include the crown guards, the pushers, or the shoulders for both. The watch wears larger than 42 millimeters in almost every dimension. In terms of thickness, it's a burly 15 millimeters, although it looks thicker because of the sheer flank. Now from lug to lug, this is where the watch really begins to strut its stuff, as the actual lug to lug dimension is 54 millimeters. If you add the rigid plots, the intermediate links that join the strap to the case, you wind up with a huge span across the wrist of 58 millimeters. And because of the stiffness and substance of the monster hornback strap, the watch wears even a little bit larger than that. This is an impressive timepiece. On the wrist, it's an imposing juggernaut of a chronograph. As it always has been, the Royal Oak Offshore features nightmare proportions visually stunning. It's also thoughtfully assembled. As you can see, screws are used to fix the strap to the case. This is exactly what you want to see. Not spring bars, but screws holding a strap to a substantial and heavy sporting timepiece. The horn back, while stiff, is beautifully made. As imposing as the case itself, it's gorgeous. Finished to a very high standard and assembled by hand. You can see it has massive sheer flanks. A beautiful contrasting hand laid red stitch. It's not bolstered, it's just incredibly thick alligator leather with a supple distressed style calfskin on the bottom and a simple no nonsense Audemars Piguet steel pin buckle for adjustability on the fly. Now the case is finished to the same level of virtuosity that you would expect on the most delicate Royal Oak Jumbo, the core reference. You see the same level of hand finishing and the same level of subtlety in the way this bevel tapers as it approaches the side of the case from a beautiful rounded edge. It disappears and then exits the case band on the opposite side. It's the same gorgeous rounded mirrored finish. All of the satin is beautiful and impeccable, wonderfully straight. The satin finish atop the bezel aligns in gorgeous fashion with the linear satin finish atop the lug hoods and the case tops. For 2014, the crown pushers and pusher guard profiles were entirely redesigned. More substantial, more angular, of course they take more time to finish, but the nitrile or synthetic covers for the crown shoulder as well as the chronograph pushers gave way to long wearing and hardy ceramic. And you'll even note the level of detail lavished on these peripheral pieces include satin finish in contrast with a mirrored bevel and you'll note that on the shoulder of the chronograph pusher. Again, no detail overlooked, no detail too small despite the size and presence of the watch. And it should be noted that the watch is in outstanding condition. As you'll note, all of the hexagonal high polished stainless steel bezel bolts retain a little bit of recess or countersink into the bezel showing that it has been rarely if ever refinished. Now the dial is imposing and impressive. Black with accents of white and shocks of red, it has tremendous personality. There's a beautiful polished chaptering about each one of the individual registers and the Arabic numerals hand applied and aligned are made of white gold with super luminova inserts so this watch is easy to view in any light. There's a tachymetric scale in true sporting fashion that is beautifully dished and slopes down from the bezel to the mega tapisserie hobnail of the dial base uniting the two components and then there's a magnified and recessed 
classical Royal Oak offshore date at 3 o'clock next to the applied white gold of the Audemars Piguet corporate marquee. But what really set the 2014 42 millimeter offshores apart was the first general application of a display case back on the 42 millimeter family, something previewed by the Yarno Truly of 2008, general after 2014. And you can see the Audemars Piguet base caliber 3126. Now, in combination with the 3840 vertical clutch chronograph module, we're talking 365 parts, 59 joules. Note the winding mass in rose gold with both the Audemars and Piguet family crests. At center, ceramic rotor bearings for high efficiency but a smoother bi-directional system. While it gives up a few percentages in winding efficiency, Audemars Piguet wanted to have a bi-directional winding system, Rolex style, because it sounds and feels more refined on the wrist. It doesn't have the unidirectional rotor wobble. You'll also note this is a true sports watch movement with a dual anchored balance bridge and a free sprung balance beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. The balance bridge and the free sprung architecture making it more shock resistant. Of course, it does feature a superb power reserve of approximately 55 to 60 hours, considerably more than the industry standard of 42, and the level of finish entirely warrants the display case back. Of course, the watch features hacking seconds, so pull the crown to extremity, stop the balance, and synchronize your watch to a reference time. It also features a quick set so you can rapidly cycle the date, and with a screw down crown and a screwed in case back, the watch is blessed, I should say a screw fixed case back, the watch is blessed with 100 meters water resistance so it is hale and hearty ready to throw on a bracelet or a rubber strap to jump into the waves this coming summer. You can see and you can purchase this extraordinary 42 millimeter black themes Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore and make it yours on our website.